The year 2021 brought a new department store, a new statue downtown, and a new sales tax. There was also a crime spree that started on the first day and continued throughout the year. And on this New Year's Eve, we look back at some of the biggest stories covered by 27 First News. Here's anchor Stan Boney. Nine minutes into the new year, Youngstown recorded its first murder and would finish with 31, including a 10-year-old girl in August, which brought the mayor to tears. My heart aches right now. I'm sad. By year's end, Youngstown also had an additional 137 shootings, up 27 percent, resulting in numerous Stop the Violence rallies. We're really just hoping to show them the human aspect of what they're doing. In November, there were protests at Youngstown State over the cutting of programs, while in September, former players of legendary feral coach Ed McCluskey failed to have his name removed. The political situation in Newton Falls made news all year. The city manager, finance director, and law director were all let go. But Youngstown voted to keep its mayor. Mahoning County voted to raise the sales tax, and Tim Ryan announced He's running for senator. Ryers leaves downtown Sharon with a broken heart. In May, Ryers announced it was leaving Sharon and in August relocated to the Eastwood Mall, where in October, Boscovs opened a new store the same month DeBartolo Commons opened at Southern Park. I am touched beyond measure. 2021 was when Meyer opened in Boardman, when Columbiana's Firestone Park was renovated, when Farrell's NLMK strike ended, when the Robinson Shuba statue was unveiled, when the Shenango was named Pennsylvania's River of the Year, and when Howland's Yellow House was saved. It was also when Youngstown sued the owner of the Chilcan plant for allegedly breaking promises. The guy looked down, said, look at this ball. It was a year when a 130-year-old beer bottle was found during the Penguin City beer construction, when Debbie Barber Hello. of Altabelli Realty was named Ohio's Realtor of the Year, and when reporter Nadine Grimley received a fist pump from 92-year-old veteran Vern Gibson for helping him find his missing ring. Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Now, the coming up on First News at 6, we'll highlight the year's other big stories and count down the top 10 stories of 2021 as voted on by the WKBN staff.